watch every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish an opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height, but the same reach. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe it's a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? That's a good strike right there. Nice jab, falls up with a nice right hand. Whiffs on the straight right hand. These guys throwing early. Look at him drive his hand into the opponent's body with that body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Lee. And he landed the right hand there. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. How good is that right hand? Telegraph that spinning back fist. Slips the shot. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Nice body kick right up the elbow. Nice combination of kicks there by Lee. Oh, 
that's a good right hand. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, Superman punch. Real nice body kick lands. Nice kick. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting pads. It's like he's hitting focus pitch, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. He loaded up on that right hand, too. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Just out of range with that strike. Ooh, blocks the shot. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Five minutes in the books. All right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets in. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very good... Over the top, this fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with the one button going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Beautiful strike. Oh, Superman punch is good. You can tell he's been working on that. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh! Blocks the shot. Oh, straight right! Lee gets touched by that kick to the body. Connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm gonna take one to give one. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace on uptaking the aggression and the output and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away and he's blocking, he's rolling, he's slipping. He's doing a great job. Nice strike. the Superman punch. How about it? Went for the inside leg kick. Big kick. Counter jab snaps the head back. That should get his attention. Back and forth we go here. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. There. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. 
All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. And that's the end of round number two. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will and until his opponent adjusts. Maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Kick to the body by the Massive knee to the body land. Oh, high level stuff as he counters with that right hand. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes to right up the gut, DC. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. Trying to stay in this fight! Oh, strong punch there by Lip. It almost looked like he went Lip there for a second. Big head kick. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this going to end? Potentially a critical takedown here. Under a minute to go in the round. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Final seconds of round three. And that'll do it. 15 minutes in the books. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men. Stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Nice job. I thought you were going to knock him out of the octagon. This round, and he's going to push him more. He knows you're going to come hard, so he's going to be ready. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Knees kick to the body, that one blocked. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. 
Ali gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, a huge block there. Big body kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Lee's torso, specifically that right side, has absorbed a lot of damage tonight. And here comes the purple, the black, and blue. A definite bruise starting to form on that right side. Oh, and he connects with the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Doing a good job of footwork with his, with his traps and not following, but he's not really letting his hands go. He's trying to counter. You gotta be first when you're the guy that's dictating the center of the octagon. Oh, big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, straight right. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, that right hand. Is I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection. Yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Another shot lands upstairs. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Nice straight punch. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Put your hands up the right hook to the body. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did so there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. All right, good job by him there to wow! He's out! Oh my goodness! What a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot.
that ended the fight. And there he is, all smiles. What a huge knockout he turned in here tonight. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Gaines called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, four seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration.